Imagine a team of college students successfully launching a satellite into space. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's now a reality. In a historic first, students from Chinese and Russian universities have collaboratively developed and launched a CubeSat microsatellite weighing just 15.7 kilograms from Blagoveshchensk, Russia. This project is much more than just a satellite launch, it's a groundbreaking achievement in international academic collaboration. By integrating advanced micro-nano satellite technologies, this mission not only tests the capabilities of these miniature satellites, but also provides real-world aerospace experience to future engineers. Let's start with how this project came to life. The microsatellite, named after its CubeSat design, wasn't just another research initiative by established professionals. Instead, it was driven by students from major universities such as Harbin Institute of Technology HIT, Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Amur State University, and Bauman Moscow State Technical University. The idea was simple yet ambitious to combine the talents and resources of Chinese and Russian students to create something tangible a satellite that could actually be launched into space. The project began with more than 50 students, most of whom were undergraduates. They weren't merely assistants, these students led the project with full control over the satellite's technical design, project management, and operations. What's fascinating here is how these students, who were mostly just starting their academic careers, took charge of a project that professionals would normally handle. According to Zhang Jiao, a doctoral student from HIT, the university provided expert advisors but allowed the student team substantial autonomy. This hands-on experience taught them project management, teamwork, and the technicalities of satellite development. It's a real-life crash course in both engineering and leadership. The launch itself took place from Blagoveshchensk, a city near the Russian-Chinese border, symbolizing the collaboration between the two nations. By making use of Russian space infrastructure and Chinese technological expertise, the team showcased how international cooperation can lead to groundbreaking achievements. Now, let's talk about why this CubeSat project is so significant. On the surface, it may seem like just another satellite launch. However, there's a lot more to it. For starters, this CubeSat is not just a research tool, it represents a new model of academic collaboration. By bringing together Chinese and Russian universities, this project has set a precedent for how countries can work together, leveraging each other's strengths for scientific advancement. This partnership is particularly important in today's geopolitical climate, where international collaboration can sometimes be challenging. So what exactly does this CubeSat do? Its primary mission is to test and verify micro-nano satellite technologies, which are crucial for the future of space exploration. These miniature satellites are becoming increasingly popular because they are more cost-effective and easier to launch than traditional, larger satellites, they can be used for a wide range of applications, from Earth observation to scientific research in deep space. By successfully launching a microsatellite, students have proven that these smaller, cheaper satellites can achieve significant results without the need for massive budgets. Beyond its technical mission, the CubeSat also supports educational and amateur radio experiments. This allows students and radio enthusiasts around the world to interact with the satellite, engage in communication experiments, and learn more about satellite operations. This educational focus is a crucial aspect of the project. By creating opportunities for students to directly interact with the satellite, the project fosters a new generation of engineers and scientists who are not only well-versed in theory, but also experienced in practical applications. What makes this even more impressive is the level of independence granted to the student teams. They weren't just following orders from seasoned professionals, they were the ones making decisions, solving problems, and managing the project timeline. The experience has been invaluable for the students, providing them with hands-on skills that go far beyond the classroom. As one of the students involved said, the project brought classroom theories to life, especially in areas like communication principles and telemetry systems. In the long run, projects like these can change the landscape of space research by democratizing access to space. If students can build and launch their own satellites, imagine what other possibilities could be unlocked.
The impact of this project extends beyond the launch itself. It represents a shift in how universities approach space education. Traditionally, space research was confined to a few well-funded institutions, but projects like this one are changing that by opening up opportunities for students to get involved in satellite technology early in their academic careers. According to Keo Jian, the Deputy Director of HIT's International Cooperation Department, this initiative is designed to inspire more students to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM fields. The CubeSat project is a prime example of what hands-on experience can do for student education. While textbooks can teach the theory behind satellite communications, there's no substitute for the experience of actually designing, building, and launching a satellite. For students like Fang Kangbo, an undergraduate from HIT, being at the launch site and watching their hard work lift off into space was a transformative experience. It's the kind of moment that can ignite a lifelong passion for aerospace engineering. But beyond inspiring individual students, the project also aims to set a new standard for international academic collaboration. By pooling resources and expertise, Chinese and Russian universities have demonstrated that even in a competitive global environment, scientific cooperation is not only possible but also beneficial for all parties involved. This approach could pave the way for future joint projects between universities worldwide, expanding the reach of space science education. Moreover, the successful completion of this CubeSat mission highlights the potential of small, student-driven satellite projects in advancing space research. These smaller satellites are less costly, quicker to develop, and offer flexibility in testing new technologies. This is especially important as we move toward more sustainable and cost-effective methods of space exploration. The technology validated by these student-led satellites could be applied to more ambitious missions in the future, such as long-duration space missions or even interplanetary exploration. Ultimately, this project is a testament to the power of collaboration, education, and innovation. It shows that by empowering students and supporting cross-border academic projects, we can accelerate progress in space science. The lessons learned from this project will not only shape the careers of the students involved, but also influence how universities approach the teaching of STEM subjects. It's a win-win for both education and the future of space exploration, proving that sometimes the best way to push the boundaries of science is to give the next generation the tools and freedom to experiment and explore. So what can we take away from this incredible journey? The successful launch of this microsatellite marks a significant achievement not only for the students involved but also for the future of space research and education. This project is a testament to the power of international collaboration, showing that when young minds from different backgrounds come together, they can achieve remarkable things. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.